Hi everyone, in the previous video, we have done some transformations and we have loaded these tables from the AdventureWorks 2017 database and we have created a start schema, okay? And we have given connections from these dimensions to this fact table, one too many in single direction, data is flowing from dimensions to the fact table, okay? In the report view, let me add, quickly add some slices calendar year drop down list yeah copy pasting uh let me select the product dimension the product description English product name. Yeah, English product name. And sales territory region. You can go for the country. Yeah. And we can select customer email address. Perfect. Okay. Now down, I want to see based on the order date, which is order date, his customer first name the product he purchased from the region he came in and the sale amount now if i select a particular year there is no data okay but still i can see the english product names here sales territory country names here and customer email address when there is no data based on my selection i know the calendar year the dim date is filtering the fact table this particular dimension table is uh, filtering the fact table and it is giving me zero rows why is it giving all other dimensions people may get confused right still they may go and keep searching so my requirement is here when i filter the year table I just want to make sure like it should not show anything in this dimensions as well. I want to filter this dimensions data. How do I do it? Yes, we can achieve that using a simple measure. Let me show you. Let me write a measure for dimensions to be sorted. I'm naming this dimension a measure as for dimension filter equals to sum of all these dimensions are getting the data from the fact internet sales table and my fact internet sales is mainly to display the sales amount. People are interested to know that fact, right? So if that value is there, then it will show up. If this value doesn't have anything, it means there is no data for that. Right? So I'm just giving some of fact in net sales amount. Now, try to understand. I'm selecting the English product name and I'm filtering this particular visual based on this for dimension filter. When this value is greater than zero, then only filter the data. Filter the particular sizer accordingly. When I selected the 2005, See, there is no fact internet sales table. So sum of sales amount is zero. And this dimension filter is checking whether the value is greater than zero. If it is not greater than zero, there is no value. See, there is no data to filter. There is no data to display in the product dimension, team product dimension, the English product name. Whereas I haven't applied the filter, right? So still it is showing sales territory country. 
So let me pull this four dimension filter and filter this data when this is greater than zero. See, see there is no data. Email address, yeah, I have the data. When I pull this filter, let me apply this thing. When it is greater than zero, then filter the data, see? Now, if I go back, I know that Adventure Works got 2011 data, right? See, I can see the product names. For this product, for this only, these are the countries who got the data. So, it's not only that, see, only these customers has selected the data, purchased the data. So, I'm giving the data by filtering the dimensions based on my dimension selection i'm filtering the other dimension values if you go and see in my model these dimensions are not related see there is no relation between these di four dimensions it's all connected to the fact table but in my report view when i select a particular country it is giving me the customer ids you can which are having some sale amount here see these five customers IDs has been displayed here. If I select France, I can see only these three customers who has data. Okay. So I have a control on my dimensions, what I'm selecting and what is expected. When I select the particular product name, I know the data I am interested is only from Germany and I know that only this is a particular email customer ID who got a sale value. Okay. Hope this is very useful. Thank you.